your boy. <sighs> Brass packs in this bitch, you already know. Guys, we're gonna talk about it. I've seen in so many forums, in my comment section, in Facebook groups in general, people are always having this discussion. And the discussion is, if it ain't a 4K digital intermediate, guess what? It's not real 4K. Well, let's just keep it real. 4K Blu-rays aren't 4K anyway. See, real 4K is 4096 by 2160. 4K Blu-rays are 3840 by 2160. A pubic care less. Pubic care less than true 4K. But let's just get that out of the way right now. Why are people so infatuated with this real 4K versus fake 4K bullshit? I don't give a fuck. I'll keep it real with you. And I'll tell you why I don't give a shit. Firstly, you can have a 4K digital intermediate. What does that mean? Sometimes the film was shot in 3.4K. Sometimes the film was shot in 2.8K. So is the problem the digital intermediate or is the problem how it was shot? Let me just run through a list of 4K digital intermediate titles, okay? Sirens. You know, back in the day, I'd hear sirens and think nothing of it. Now with all the shit that's been going on lately in the world, could be anything. 4K digital intermediates. The Great Wall, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Passengers, Revenant, Power Rangers, Logan, to name a few. All of those are fantastic 4K transfers. Let's talk 2K digital intermediates. Shallows, Fate of the Furious, John Wick 2, Tarzan, Alien Covenant. God damn! Those shit sound pretty good, don't they? A lot of those 2K digital intermediates, in my opinion, look better than the 4K digital intermediates. A lot of your top 10 lists in 4K Blu-rays are 2K digital intermediates. Now, can we please stop with this bullshit? It doesn't matter anymore, 4Ks generally speaking, vary from slightly to substantially better than 1080p Blu-rays. And forget that, HDR, goddammit. God damn, HDR! That brings me to another point. John Campia, I'm a big fan of your channel. I love everything you do. I've followed you since AMC days, Collider, and now you've got your own thing, right? If you're gonna talk about 4K, how about we talk about HDR? I see you talking about 4K in one of your videos. Not once did you mention the main thing, 4K HDR. You got Tons of subscribers and you're misinforming them on 4K. That needs to come to an end. I got a lot of love for you, but you leave the 4K to the chap. So great selling features of 4K. You got Atmos Sound, you got DTSX, you got HDR. So why does a digital intermediate matter? Why does it matter to you guys? As far as I'm concerned, I couldn't care less. The only reason I mentioned the digital intermediate in my reviews is because it's important to some of you guys. I don't know, I've been meaning to say this for ages, but now I've said it. But look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You guys tell me. Why does it matter to you? Films are gonna have to start shooting in 8K, and some films have, but guess what? They're sticking to 2K digital intermediates. I don't know why, but they are. I think it's a visual effects thing. I don't know what it is. They wanna perhaps, maybe the visual effects are shot in 2K, so they wanna make a 2K digital intermediate so they can upscale everything together. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know what it is, but the results are amazing as far as I'm concerned. But what are your thoughts? Does it matter to you? And if it does matter to you, why does it matter? And give me examples. I wanna know. It's your boy. 4K Rockstar, you already know.